the idea here is with the uh, with the partner stream. If you like what you see, and apparently they have one of their um, one of the courses uh, available for free right now, um, then you can go ahead and sign up with a link. I have it in the description for YouTube, and then over here on Twitch, I have a command uh, code crafters uh, that shows a link that you can use to purchase it. And uh, I believe, I can't remember if you have to buy when you sign up or not, because I never got that chance. I, I got the VIP before I, I signed up. Uh, just know that if you do use this link um, for in perpetuity, apparently, uh, it, uh, it does support me on the stream. And they do seem to have a fairly decent um, of the, uh, like the affiliate style link um, sharing. So I'm... Pretty happy about that. That being said, I figure we're gonna go through some uh, hard stuff um, ourselves, and then you can sort of like see how that is. And uh, if um, if you like what you see, then then go and do that. I wouldn't necessarily ask that anybody goes and like just buys blindly without actually checking things out. All right, so um, build your own Git. So learn about git objects, plumbing commands and more. In this challenge, you'll build a git implementation that can initialize a repository, create commits and clone a public repository from GitHub. Um, along the way, you'll learn about the .git directory, git objects, blobs, commits, trees, etc., pack files, git transfer protocols and much, much more. Um, okay, so first of all, very easy. Initialize the git directory. Well, that that, that, that seems right. Um, in this stage, you'll implement the git init command. Uh, you'll initialize a git repository by creating a .git directory and some files inside of it. Um, and then there is, oh, I guess there's just a bunch of, that's all the stages that we'll be doing. So we're gonna start with this one. Let's go. Uh, in this challenge, you'll build a git implementation that can initialize, okay, we already, Talk about that. Uh, Pre-challenge assessment. Okay, so which language would you like to use? Uh, we are going to go with Rust. Uh, it does look like they have, let's see, C++, Go, Haskell. That's interesting. Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, and you can request others. Language pro proficiency. Um, how would you describe your experience level with Rust? So, I mean, I would probably say that I'm more intermediate. I don't know if I would self-describe as advanced. There's certainly like a lot of advanced parts of it that I don't, that I haven't touched. And okay, so practice cadence. Um, we are gonna do every day, um, as long as we don't count the week, the week and I'm going to be doing this every every weekday morning with all of you for about an hour and a half. Uh, this is going to be basically our warm up before work, before my day job. Accountability. Would you like us to email you occasional friendly nudges to help you stay accountable? Sure. Um, just so I can see what those are. I actually said no when I when I went through and did a few of the things for HT, the HTTP server because I didn't want I didn't want to finish that one and then start getting like nags. So, um, repository setup. We've prepared a starter repository with some Rust code for you. So this is an absolute, like you can't just start from scratch. Uh, notice here that it's actually from get.codecrafters.com. So I will actually, let's do this and then I'll show you what's going on. So this is code, let's see what, build your own Git. Oh, it actually CD'd me into there. Okay, I didn't even notice that. Uh, and then push an empty commit. So we'll just go to that, do that. It's a git commit, allow empty um, with a message test and push it to master. So that's pretty cool that we get that. 
So this is this is the way that they do their instant feedback, or at least as instant as possible with this. Uh, this seems to be like the the uh, the really cool way they they give you uh, they assess whether or not you've done the thing and that you're 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 good to go. Um, the way they control this is that we're not using GitHub for this. We're using a self-hosted Git server on their system. And that way they can have some scripts and some other things running over there that basically just tells you what's what's going on. It's really, it's actually really cool. All right, so uh, initialize. Okay, now we get to work on to stage one. So CodeCrafter runs tests when you do a git push. Um, you should, okay, yeah. So we, we have this stream failed over here. So it's basically saying, hey, it expected the git directory to be created. Um, once you implement the stage, you'll pass the test. So uh, it, as far as I can tell, um, this is a automated version of the hostile developer pattern. Uh, that's a sort of code exercise that I did with students back when I was teaching. Um, the idea would be that you have, you pair off and you do a TDD style. We have a tester and you have the hostile developer who just builds the bare minimum to pass things. And then the test should get you going to um uh to where you want to get to because then it, it should get to the point where like like in a good chess game you don't have a choice like you have to make some moves because you're you're trapped in some way so they're trapping us into building like into forcing to learn it's um i don't know that may not be a good analogy but um that's the idea here Okay, your task. In this stage, you'll implement the git init command. This command initializes a repository by creating a .git directory and some files inside of it. You can read more about what's inside the .git folder here. So let's open that up. For the purpose of this challenge, you only need to create the bare minimum required for git to function properly. Okay, so we basically need a .git folder. We need an object folder with nothing in it. We need a refs folder with nothing in it. We need a head, which is just a file that should contain that string. Um, since this is your first stage, we've included commented code to pass this stage in your repository. So they've basically given us the code for this um, and it's already in main. So if we switch back over to here, here, here this is. So, okay, we're using standard environment. So I believe after this, we won't need this anymore. So we're using standard ENV, standard FS. Uh, we have our main function. Um, we can use uh, print line statements and they will show up. I guess I lost the, uh, it's, it's, I opened up the editor so we don't see the, um, the code anymore but it'll show up when we when we push our code and when it tests it'll also show up our um these standard outs okay uncomment this block to pass the first test let's uncomment this and then let's uh that that's delete and then let's like walk through this and take a look at what it's going to do so we're going to create uh okay a list of args which is going to collect okay from the environment so if the args one is in it okay so we're basically making a cli app right which is this git right so we're saying like okay if it's git in it so if the first arg is in it uh then we want to create a directory git create a directory git objects create a directory git refs uh we want to write create this file and write just literally ref refs head master to it with a new line. All of these have unwrapped, so they don't handle any errors whatsoever. It would just crash. So that's not really great. Um, we print out initialize the get directory, uh, and uh, otherwise we sell you unknown unknown command. Okay, so I should be able to test this. So if I if I save you. Let's uh let's create a uh what is it? Let's create a um a window down here and we'll just do I guess I'm already in a git um I'm in the git thing here. So 
this would reinitialize it and probably break it if I actually ran it here. So let's go ahead and um, cargo build this. Now it is running this in a local directory, which Git does right now. So that kind of makes sense. Uh, I want to maybe let's bring something over here. Uh, this is only slightly behind me. Let's go to. I'm just gonna go to my desktop. Uh, let's create a new directory called like um, plane with git. Um, I need to copy in. What is this? This is gonna be uh, code Brooks builds, uh, code crafters. Target, debug, get started rust, bring that here. And so I can just use this, right? So I should be able to just do get started rust. And uh, if I don't hand it that, um, oh, it doesn't want, it doesn't like that at all because uh, it panicked at line 10. Probably because I don't have any arguments. If I do a in it, there it initialize. Okay, it it thinks git thinks I've in initialized a, a a git directory, and there we go. We have this uh, dot git folder here. Ooh, LT doesn't show me the dot files. That's too bad. There, that works. So we have the head, we have the objects, and we have the refs. So perfect. Uh, okay, so what we can do is we can git commit. Uh, we are going to say um, creating the message. I don't believe actually matters what this is. So okay, uh, git commit am creating a git directory. Okay, running testing your code base. Uh, compilation successful. Test passed. Excellent. So that's good. It it works. Back to here. Um, uh, all right. So we got this. We got step one. We're we're good, right? It it's gonna get a little bit harder. All right, so if you come back to here, it actually tells me we've completed this. We've, we've uh, everything works. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next stage. 